Tell us what happened. Um, well, that morning, me, my friend Alana, her dad Holt, and her brother Byron were all surfing out at the spot. It's about 15 minute paddle out called Tunnels. It was pretty small, not too good, but we just went out to have fun. And I was laying on my board parallel to the waves, and this arm was laying inside the water, and then this arm was like holding the board. I was just like relaxing. And then all of a sudden, the shark just came up and like, it was only like two, three seconds at the most, and it just kind of jerked me back and forth, and then it just let go and went underwater. And right at that moment, the first thing I saw was red water, and then I just started paddling in, and I was like, I got attacked by a shark, like, about that loud, and then, um... About that loud? <laughs> yeah. Not like, I got attacked by a shark! No, just no. really good. I got attacked yeah. by a shark, okay? Yeah, and then Holt came over, and he was like, He's like, oh my God, and he just pushed Did you know you'd lost your arm at that point? Yeah, right away I knew. And Were you just... in pain? Were you in pain? No pain at all. No pain at all? Uh... No pain at all? <laughs> and then he pushed me into wave, and they just got me to the beach, and then that, right when he, then he tied a um, leash as a tourniquet around my arm, and the doctor said that, like, saved me. And then... So you never had pain? You never had pain? Well, I've had pain, just not during, like... But during that whole ordeal? Not during that, like, two hours. You did not? Okay, how could that be, doctor? That's similar to what happened to, to Jerry. She knew she was in a, a very desperate situation. She didn't need a pain alarm to tell her that she needed to get help. And a large pain alarm would have just interfered with her ability to help herself. Okay, now, what did you say earlier about pain is the body's way of telling you... It's the body's alarm system. It's telling you you better do something about this problem before it gets worse. In her situation, she didn't need that alarm. She, she knew she needed yeah. help. When you see the shark and you see the blood, you she already understood. know, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So Bethany survived the vicious attack, but most uh, believed her hopes and dreams for a superstar surfing career were gone. But Bethany was back on her board four weeks later. And, uh, and this past weekend, she competed in a local surfing competition and came in fifth place. So are you gonna get a prosthetic arm? Or are you gonna, what are you um, gonna do? Yeah, the um, guys that made it, they said it'd be done in like a, um, two weeks or so. So you're gonna get an arm? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever, ever for one moment think you wouldn't go back in the water? Um, I think it went through my head once or twice, but once <laughs> things came clear in my mind, I knew I'd be back out there. You got clear really quickly, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs>